Hey guys, what's going on? Spitbricks here, back with another LEGO Ninjago video, and in this video, I'll be comparing the voice actors for the cartoon show to the LEGO Ninjago movie. As you guys may already know, we are getting a change of voice actors for this upcoming LEGO Ninjago movie. There's a lot of LEGO Ninjago fans that are very unhappy with this. They want to see the actual voice actors we get in the TV show. But remember that this LEGO Ninjago movie has nothing to do with the TV show. It just uses the same sort of idea with the same ninjas and their names and that sort of thing. It doesn't have anything to do really with the TV show and you'll see that whenever the movie does come out. Alright, so it just seems fitting just to start off with Kai right here. In the Cartoon Network TV show, Vincent Tong did a great representation of Kai. Then again, he was the first voice actor ever for Kai, so we haven't really heard anything different. But I do commend Vincent Tong, you did a great job and will continue to do a great job, I hope, throughout the upcoming episodes and series beyond this point. Now, for the LEGO Ninjago movie, we have Michael Pena that's going to be taking over voicing for Kai. So his voice is going to be a little bit different, but I think you still will be able to hear a resemblance between these two voice actors. They're not completely different, and so I think this one will not be a huge drastic difference, but then again, that's just my opinion. Next up is probably the largest change for this LEGO Ninjago movie. We have Lloyd. Now, I was actually surprised to realize in one of my other videos that some of you guys don't realize that Lloyd is actually voice acted by a woman. This is Jillian Michaels who actually voices for him in the TV show, and that will be switching over for the movie to Dave Franco. You guys probably know Dave Franco. He's one of the more popular, I guess you could say, uh, other than the fact that we have Jackie Chan also that's going to be voicing for Wu. So Lego did get some pretty notable voice actors and that sort of thing, so that should be pretty cool. Now, Lloyd's voice will be changing a bit, I'd have to say. You guys probably heard the differences in the actual trailer that we got because, of course, well, we're changing from a woman's voice to a man's voice. Now, I did like Jillian Michaels for voicing over for Lloyd just because she kind of gave the more innocent or younger feel, I guess you could say, to his voice. Now we have Dave Franco, and it should be a bit of a difference, but it shouldn't be that bad. Still should be a Lloyd that we know and love, and should be a pretty cool movie. Next up, we're going to be talking about the differences for Cole. Kirby Morrow actually voiced him for the Cartoon Network series, which is pretty ironic that his last name is Morrow. And over on the right, the Lego Ninjago movie, our new voice actor for Cole is going to be Fred Armisen. So that's going to be a bit of a difference also. I personally don't really know if there's really going to be a difference between these two voices. I think this one should be able to fit in pretty well. And obviously Cole being one of the favorites for quite a few people, this should be kind of interesting. But then again, some people just do not like the idea of voice actors changing. But here we have the new voice actors for all of the main characters. Next up is Zane, and Brent Miller is probably one of the most popular voice actors just because of his YouTube channel, obviously. He voiced for the Cartoon Network wave of episodes, and that will be transitioning over to Zach Woods, who will be doing the voice acting for Zane for the Lego Ninjago movie. Now, this is pretty interesting, obviously, since Zane is kind of a robot, pretty much. Now, whether he's actually going to realize that he's a robot in the movie, I'm pretty sure he will, um, but, I mean, I guess we never really know. I believe he will just because of his really blue eyes that kind of look like a robot there. So he's got to be a robot sometime in that movie, if not the whole entire thing. So it will be pretty interesting to see if Zach Woods puts some sort of robotic accent on that or if that's going to be computer generated. Uh, we'll have to see whenever that comes out. So that will be pretty interesting, obviously, to see the difference between Brent Miller and Zach Woods playing the part of Zane for the Leia Ninjago movie. The next character we're going to be looking at is Jay from the Cartoon Network season. Michael Adam Thwaity, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, voiced over for Jay. And now for the Lego Ninjago movie, Kamel Nanihani will be voicing over for Jay. Both these names are actually pretty hard to say, which is kind of ironic for, since all the other names have been pretty easy so far up to this point. But Jay is definitely one of the more favorite ninjas throughout the whole entire fan base for Lego Ninjago. And obviously with his funny personality, uh, LEGO fans really do want that to transition over to the LEGO Ninjago movie. So hopefully Kumail will be able to deliver on that. I think he will be. 
Um, but, you know, we really don't know. Uh, Jay is definitely the jokester of the group, and I do love the role that he plays in the Cartoon Network TV show series, and I hope that he does play that in the Lego Ninjago movie, and that his voice is able to portray that kind of jokester tone at some points. But, of course, we'll have to see whenever the movie comes out. We got hints at it in the trailer, but to be 100% for sure, I'd wait for the movie. Next up is Nia. Now, Nia for the Cartoon Network season was Kelly Metzger, and for the Lego Ninjago movie, it will be Abby Jacobson. Now, I don't believe this is going to be a huge change for Nia, just because these are both female voice actors, and you may be able to, I guess you could say, hear a difference if you put both of the voices from the Cartoon Network season and the Lego Ninjago movie, like, combined, put them side by side and listen to the difference of each, you may be able to hear it. But during the actual Lego Ninjago movie, I don't think you're going to be able to hear a big difference that's going to kind of throw you off. I believe that it will be pretty similar to the Nia that we know from the Cartoon Network TV show, and, well, I hope it will be. Next up is obviously one of the most anticipated voice actors, which is Jackie Chan, which will now be voicing over instead of Paul Dobson. Now, Paul Dobson did the Cartoon Network TV shows, and Jackie Chan will obviously be doing the Lego Ninjago movie. Jackie Chan is really well known for his stunts and voice acting in a lot of different movies, so this will be very awesome to see him voicing over for Wu. Wu is probably going to have the largest voice difference, in my opinion, just because of Jackie Chan voicing over for him. He's very different, obviously, than Paul Dobson, his style, the way he talks, that sort of thing. So you will see a bit of a difference here for Wu. I think the change will be noticeable, but I don't think it will be that big of a deal just because, well, now we have Jackie Chan voicing over for him, and I mean, that's pretty cool also. Then again, Wu will always have his classic voice by Paul Dobson in the TV show, so you can always go back to that if you want to hear the original Wu voice. Next up, the brother of Wu is Garmadon. Now, Garmadon in this movie is going to be pretty awesome. He's going to have a very large role, obviously, with Lloyd, his son, spelled with two L's. Now, in the Cartoon Network season, Mark Oliver voiced for Garmadon. And now, in the Lego Ninjago movie, it will be Justin Theroux. So, this may spin Garmadon in a few different ways. Then again, just like a lot of these other voice actors, I've said this quite a few times, this shouldn't make a huge difference. You may hear a difference if you put the voices side by side to each other. But overall, I think the Garmadon voice will not change that much. Justin Theroux is a very good voice actor, as is Mark Oliver. But obviously, this transition from the Cartoon Network TV show to the Lego Ninjago movie shouldn't be that big. You should be able to hear some similarities from Justin Theroux's voice to Mark Oliver's voice, who voiced him in the TV show. So it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Last but certainly not least, I wanted to include Misako into this list, who is going to be Coco in the Lego Ninjago movie. So not only is she getting a new voice actor, she's also getting a brand new name. Now, obviously, since she wasn't really one of the main ninjas or Sensei Wu or Nia, she did help guide the ninjas and Wu and, of course, Lloyd, her son. But other than that, she really did. She wasn't in many of the fighting scenes or any of the, many of the sets at all. So it's okay, in my opinion, if they change her name. But she's moving from Kathleen Barr from the Cartoon Network TV show voice actor to Olivia Munn for the Lego Ninjago movie. Once again, they're both female voice actors. Shouldn't be that big of a difference, but you never really know. And this one, in my opinion, sh I don't really mind if it's a bit different just because of the fact, well, she is still Lloyd's mother, probably. That's what we can assume she is still. Um, however, she does have a new name, and she's going to be taking on a whole new kind of role, in my opinion, or just, like, idea of this character in the movie. So her voice may be more significant than others, maybe not as significant as Sensei Wu, but of course, we'll have to see. We haven't really gotten her uh, voice yet in any of the trailers or any of the movie, any sort of thing like that. So, anyways, we'll have to see whenever the movie does come out for Misako or Coco. And that's going to wrap up my comparison of the voice actors from the Cartoon Network TV show to the Lego Ninjago movie. Be sure to comment down below what you guys think of these new voice actors. Now, try not to be critical of the voice actors for the Lego Ninjago movie that are new. Obviously, they were hired to do this, and they have been voice actors before on other TV shows or other movies. So, I believe that the fate of, you know, the Ninjago kind of line sort of thing, 
uh, show is still in good hands. I do believe that since we've only gotten the trailer, we haven't really gotten the full-on taste of exactly what their voices are going to be and how they're going to change. But I did want to give you guys a comparison between the two people that will be uh, changing or swapping. So if you guys enjoyed, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys are new. I'm Spitbricks. I do a whole bunch of other LEGO Ninjago content, so be sure to check that out on my channel. I will see you guys in the next video coming very soon.